All right, everyone, I hesitated to even cover this because it's like a non-issue, but uh, in case you didn't notice, uh, Governor Chris Christie's political career is over. His uh, approval ratings have dropped like a rock. I think I think there's definitely sub 30% now, and I think they might be down below 20, actually, in some polling, if I recall correctly. Uh, what happened is, uh, during the government shutdown there, he was spotted on the beach, and he claimed, oh, you didn't get any sun, you know, sort of deflecting, oh, I didn't use the beach. But people got pictures of it from airplane, and he and his family and friends were there on basically what amounted to a private beach. Uh, and here is something that politicians need to understand. <clears throat> He's been stung by the same uh, basic uh, thing that took down Hillary Clinton. It, it has taken and took down Anthony Weiner, and it's taken down many others. The internet era makes it impossible for some politician to have a quiet day off during a government shutdown and safe face. It makes it impossible. You will be seen being dishonest. You will be seen being corrupt. And somebody's going to slap it on the internet pretty soon. The entire world will get to see uh, extremely large Chris Christie blocking out the sun for all the other people on the beach. Uh, they didn't. Christie got sun. Nobody else on the beach did, essentially. Uh, I've never respected Chris Christie. Early on, when people were talking about the idea of Trump making him Secretary of State, I laughed at that. That would have been a, a total freak show. It would have been terrible. Uh, it would have been the only thing worse than Mike Pence uh, or thereabouts. Um, uh, for VP, they, they were considering him, apparently for a while, Secretary of State, same difference. Uh, Christie would have been better than Romney, but that's about all you can say about him. Uh, Christie's claim to fame was destroying Marco Rubio in, in the last election, knocking him out of the way for Trump. Then even Trump didn't really want anything to do with him. He had him standing up there on stage uh, behind him like a, like a bulldog for a couple of speeches, and that's really all that he did. Uh, his now new claim to fame is Bridgegate and Beachgate. Now, a lot of aquatic things going on in his life. Seems like water... Uh, always takes Chris Christie down. You had the, uh, what was it, a hurricane there, and people were criticizing him uh, for disaster relief because I think he was <laughs> absent at the time for a few days, uh, and Rubio even pointed this out. Then he's got this Bridgegate bullshit. Then he's got uh, the shutdown, and he's on the beach, and, and he gets hammered there. It's like uh, Christie needs to move to an inland state. He needs to get away from the coast because clearly he'd be better off in Kansas or something like that. But uh, no, I can't respect Chris Christie. He's a, a loud mouth, and not in the way that Trump is. Uh, Trump does it with some degree of finesse, knowing what he's doing. Christie just gets hot under the collar in a reactionary manner uh, and insults those around him when they question him too much. He, he's almost like a, a, a more unhinged version of Bill Clinton plus an extra 100 pounds or something. He had 100 pounds to Bubba's uh, most massive weight when he was a uh, president, he was eating McDonald's every day. You had a hundred pounds to that, you get Chris Christie and you start to generate a gravitational field. But the Christie is fat jokes, uh, they get old. Christie is corrupt is now more uh, important. And he is. <laughs> He's a, just a career politician and a corporatist. He's a neocon, basically. He's a tycoon class neocon who rubs elbows with the political establishment, but a lot of these people don't want to be seen with him. I don't know whether it's because of the aesthetics of Christie or because people can't get a picture of them in his presence because he's too large. I don't know exactly why, but Christie's got some severe problems, and I can tell you this, there's no way he ends up in a political position again. At this point, he has uh, he's screwed himself so hard over and over in the last years that it would be impossible for him to become governor again or even dog catcher. His approval's far too low. Uh, people have begun, he's a running joke in the state of New Jersey. And again, his claim to fame was he was really funny when he was going up against uh, Marco Roboto and caused him to have a robotic meltdown. That's uh, not a great claim to fame to have. It's a little bit like Ben Carson now, wouldn't it be? When's the last time you heard anything about Ben Carson? <laughs> you, you haven't. He's in a cab. He's in sort of a bureaucratic position, and after Trump uh, leaves in in four or eight years, uh, Ben Carson will probably never hold another political position again. I think they put him in as head of uh, HUD, if I remember correctly, which is uh, kind of hilarious. Christie, meanwhile, gets nothing 
goes back and just sits on the beach. During a shutdown, like the, they're talking about uh, government workers being uh, not getting their pay or uh, people not being able to use certain government facilities. I don't even know. By the way, why is it that the beach should be shut down anyway just because the government can't fucking agree upon a budget? Why does that mean you have to shut the beach down? Just throw it open and put up a sign. Here's an idea. Uh, for like national parks or state parks, beaches, stuff like that. Just put up a sign, swim at your own risk. No lifeguard on duty due to sh government shutdown. Take your five bucks. Take a piece of plywood. Take a little bit of paint. Make your sign and plop it up there. Yeah, wonderful. You know, uh, the private citizens themselves could easily fund such a thing. They get $10 together to make sure that people know, yeah, if you start drowning, other civilians might be the ones that have to help you. Yeah, we shouldn't let the government strangulate things like that uh, just because it can't agree upon a budget. As far as government workers, who cares? Who cares? If, if they're non-essential, why do they even have jobs in the first place? Some non-essential government worker, okay, they're not essential. The government should stick to what's essential. I would say Chris Christie at this point is a non-essential government worker. He can't do anything. He doesn't have the consent of the people or the legislative body of New Jersey to do bullshit, so... Why is he even that he should resign? Let him get somebody in there who can do a better job. Chris Christie should resign. He's an embarrassment. He's also an embarrassment. The fact that he appeared with Trump means anytime Christie is spoken of, usually in a negative light because he's so embarrassing, it reflects badly upon the president too. He should give Christie calls. So just resign. Resign and I'll give you a, I'll make a little uh, cabana at the Mar-a-Lago. You can stay there for a whole year and eat all you can eat. All you can eat buffets, day in and day out. How does that sound if you resign? I bet Christie would take him up on that offer. Oh, I bet he'd take him up in a heartbeat. So, oh, I get to be in Florida and eat all I want for a year? Hell yeah, fuck this cold weather. Not that he uh, has pr trouble with the cold. He's got layer after layer of blubber, so it doesn't matter. Chris Christie's nuts. Uh, <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to talk about Anthony Weiner or some similar figure to find someone who screwed up an otherwise fairly promising political career uh, so badly through their own poor decision making. Yeah, poor Christy. Um, poor, poor Marco Rubio too. I think didn't he just suggest a bill a few weeks ago to try to limit online speech and, and nobody wants it. Nobody even wants to talk about it because it's such a fucking embarrassment. Yeah, he's still got problems. It's too bad too because he could have been a very aesthetic like 80s looking president. He looks like he's about to run a shipment of cocaine from Miami Beach or something like that. He can't even uh, do anything. It's rather sad. That's about all. Peace out.